time for a new episode of Virtue's Guide to Pasadena Trees. Today's episode will be carrot wood, uh, the Latin name being Cupaniopsis anacardioides. Great! So this is a tree that absolutely gave me conniption fits for the longest time because you can see it all over Los Angeles, but you will not find it in any of the uh, standard guides to North American trees. I had to find it in Charles R. Hatch's Trees of the California Landscape. So basically, the features of this tree, um, I'm going to show you the fruit, because here it is. It looks very interesting. It's a woody capsule. Uh, it starts out as sort of a fleshy yellow fruit, and then it, it develops into this woody capsule, uh, bursting with three or four compartments, each having um, a, a seed in it. It's a it's a dark sort of black seed covered with a rubbery orange skin. So you can see a, a cluster of them here. The leaves are um, sort of this glossy leathery green with edges slightly wavy or recurving. They are um, sort of oblong shaped with a blunt end, and they are alternately pinnate, meaning, uh, you know, you, you'll see a whole row of them. See, like there, you can see that there's, there's sort of a row of alternate uh, leaves. The bark, let me show you, there's a whole bunch of these on this street, and I, I want to show you some of them. The bark is starts out smooth and gray in the earlier life of the tree, and it becomes more brown and scaly with age. But you can also see, I hope you can see in this, there are fissures. It, it tends to gain more of these fissures with age. And I don't know if you could get the color on the video, but the fissures are actually orange. You can see that the wood underneath is actually orange in these fissures. And if you were to cut one of the branches off, uh, you would also then see that the the uh, the wood is orange underneath, hence the name carrot wood. Um, here's these leaves again. They have this a uh, wavy edge and uh, oval shape. And uh, these are an evergreen tree, and it comes originally from Australia, native to Australia. So anyway, a very interesting tree and. One that is just all over the place, and apparently not many other places in North America.